Welcome back to the workshop. In the meantime, I got a haircut and today I want to finish the rubber springs. I forgot to glue on these pulleys, so let's do that. I will use some epoxy. I might have broken off the tip. I believe this is... The resin part of it is already solid. Let's trash that. Coffee sticks. I do have this other stuff, but this hardens in two minutes, so I really I need to be really really quick with the applying of this, and I'm probably gonna do two batches, one batch for each bearing, so I have a little bit more time. If I now push the other bearing over, I can glue this one up as well. I think I applied a little bit too much with the first one. Yeah, that's a little bit too much squeeze out. Let's see if I can remove some of that. I admit, it would have been easier to glue this up before it was mounted on the back plate. Now a 6mm drill for this. This is the 6x25 screw that is used in other parts of the project as well. Damn it! I really, really goofed up on this one. These holes need to be 5mm higher. Let me show you the problem. If I push the screw through, then this screw bottoms out on this piece of wood. So I can't really put a rubber rope around it. On the other hand, I want this screw to be as far down as possible, but a friend of mine had a brilliant idea how to get around this problem, and we'll just push the rubber rope through the hole and tie a big knot in the end so it can't be pulled through at the right distance. This might even make future adjustments easier. On the back side, these two small screw holes were already pre-drilled as good measure and now I just need to open them to let's say three and a half millimeters because I will pull through the rope here as well and just tie it off. This way it's very easy to adjust the length of the rubber ropes. The measurement said that we need a 37 centimeter long rubber spring. I don't want to cut the rubber spring in too many parts so I will double it up and just loop it through here with a small metal pin. Uh, for the thickness of the material, I'll add a centimeter. So let's say we need 38 centimeters slack. Uh, that multiplied by 2 is 76 centimeters. And then we'll add some in the end uh, to be able to loosen or tighten the rubber springs. Let's drill open these two holes, and because we will use four of the three millimeter ropes, I will use a 3.5 millimeter drill and make two holes next to each other. Let's try to make a knot right there from the material that's over here. Okay, that's very loose. Yeah, let's tighten it a bit in this direction. And I'll expect eight centimeters when it's tight here. Yeah, anyway, that's that's good enough. Okay, let's cut this now at the appropriate length. And 
we now already shortened the rope by two centimeters and I would have now cut up 96 centimeters without that knot. But as I have tied that already, I will only cut off 94 centimeters of this. And now let's repeat the procedure. Roughly there. Let's tie that knot. Let me see where we are at. Good. Yeah, a wee bit over like the other one. Good. So 94 it was. So this works now. Great solution. With a small metal pin, this now works as planned. Let's mount the suction box and see how it looks and feels then. Let's see, first try, how much in balance is this? I believe the saddle motor should be able to pull that. That feels really good. I am very happy, this is great. The rubber springs work. This is finds a nice balance point and it's easy to be pushed further and it's easy to lift to lift up completely. I believe the seven motor will be able to do that. So I am very happy. On the back the the rubber springs stick out and I can adjust their strength, their power, by moving the knots that are tied in here. Thanks for watching. In the next episode, I will be mounting the tubes for the sucking and the blowing of the pages. And if you just made your way into the series, this is just one episode of a longer series where I show all the steps to make the page turning book scanner libre flip right behind me. Episodes are released every Thursday. Stay tuned!